spinal cord stimulator is uh, simply we'll put a very small electrical wire electrode into the uh, spinal area to interfere with uh, any kind of pain that coming from the let's say lumbar low back or leg that reaching to the brain also such a stimulation can actually induce secretion of uh, um, pain relieving uh, hormones such as like uh, endorphins uh, and and caffeine in the spinal cord level to relieve their pain. Trial is a non-surgical way to find out and this treatment is, avail uh, is helpful or beneficial to the patient. It's simply placing the small very thin electrode through the needle and then secure and then patient go home with this electronic uh, device and try to stimulate sending the electronic signal to see whether they get pain relief or not. So it's trials in a seven day trial and come back and just try to simply find out if this is a good treatment option for the patient or not. After the you know, patient is comfortably sedated and, and the uh, anesthetized area, and the ones who pass the needle in the right place, throw this back over the other door, and then we slide the electrode through the area of uh, about lower thoracic spine and then we'll remove the needles and we secure the this electrode and hook it up with the electronic gadgets and outside. Patient can control it just like a TV remote control. They can turn it on and turn it off and they can have a different channels, a different uh, stimulation channels and then also they can increase like a volume intensity of a stimulations or decrease the intensity of a stimulation. Trials can be uh, between half an hour to 45 minutes the most and uh, sometimes very relatively easy cases it can go up to 15 minutes to 20 minutes or short. Implantation means that everything that we did the trial is going to be internalized uh, so that surgery can last up to between 45 minutes to one hour. So risk of this is obviously again infection. Any surgeries, anything violating the skins can always have a risk of infection. That's why we are very um, uh, scrupulous and methodical about the preventing the infection during trial as well as implant. And the other one is uh, obviously it's a it's a near the spine area that can cause a uh, potential risk of nerve injury. Again, over 20 years of my practice and uh, implanting and doing trial, I have I have to I'm very proud to say I have a zero complications on such as nerve injuries or anything like that. The recommendation for SCS is pretty wide. Any patient who has a back pain and leg pains. And uh, so a patient has a, also a patient has a failed back surgeries and or a patient has a multiple back surgery and yet pain is still uh, poorly controlled. So any back pain and the, and the radiating pain to the lower extremity. Also this is recommended for neck pain that radiating down to your arms and shoulders as well.